Hey, um, in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the colors for the 3D objects. In this video I'm going to change the color for the leaves. So I'm going to come here in the creasing and then in here I'm going to define an area. And to that I'm going to teach a collision shape. And to define collision shape I'm going to use box shape. And then I'm going to align it with the leaves. After that I'm going to extend it a bit. 1.1, 1.1 and then 1.1 still. Um, this should make it easier for us to click on and after that I'm gonna attach a script to the root node and yeah There we go There we go to the script and then um, We wanna Connect this signal for the input event of the area and then We can start with the code. So In here we wanna have some variables This material or basically we can just call it material and then for now is we can just call it special material it's gonna be just null and then also we need to grab the leaves one leaves and that's gonna be leaves one second okay after that we need to grab variables for the colors default color um there's like this greenish color oops um and after that we need to get the color for the other color basically after we change the color um we can call this one maybe um color to pink um you can set any other color if you want um, anyways, I'm gonna come here and define function ready and in here we need to write some lines But maybe we can make another function This basically means that um, Let me just let's make that function um, If you have already seen this make unique property of Godot for the resources That's really good, but if you have not um, You can check here that well if i come to the leaves um in here we have in the inspector tab we have material tab and in here we have the first material as the zero um, material select zero and then basically if you click here on this little arrow you can make it unique um this means that any other children um instances of this scene um they are they are not gonna you know if we change these leaves for this this tree it's not gonna change it for every other tree that's why we wanna make this tree or every single tree unique um that's why we need this um code here and also we wanna grab the color for the default so we are not, we are just gonna select it in the make unit tab um anyways i'm gonna write this material because leaves dot get um now to get some property of any object we can come here that we want to get the property of material we can come here right hover um we can get it by saying leaves dot get material slash zero okay so if i come back in here um, we can say leaves dot get um and the property name it was material slash zero um but we want to get duplicate of that because we don't want you know we want a duplicate of it not exactly that you know um not, not exactly the material this material we want a duplicate of that um i'm sorry for this i this noise anyways we can grab the color here if you come here material not this one material dot albedo um basically if you come here in the material in the spectrum tab you can check the there is another tab albedo and then inside here we have color so we can say albedo underscore color to get and set this property so i'm gonna come back here and then we go to default color um 
whenever the game is ready whenever the tree is ready we just create the default color and also we make a duplicate but we want to we have to assign it back so we can say leaves so set material slash zero um with material so basically we assign it back but a duplicate duplicate of it not just exactly the same thing um you're gonna see why if you just remove this if you just comment it out you can check the difference but anyways now that this part is done we can move on to the the area thing but before that i'm gonna write another function for changing the color change color um and we can say if material dot albedo color um is equal to the default color we wanna make the material color or albedo to be um other color otherwise we wanna make material color to be the default color so basically we we are gonna switch between green and this green and this pinkish color pink color um yeah but but we are only gonna change it whenever we detect input event for the mouse and i have i have already defined in the project input map uh a click input action that you know that responds to whenever you press the left mouse button so i can come here and say if event dot is action pressed click we can just say um change color um now it should work let's check if we come here to the main scene and then just open it there we have it if i click here it changes the color for this tree to pink if i click again it goes green same goes here um so yeah you can change the colors for the trees for the leaves of the trees um also if you come here and you try to <laughs> comment this out you can check that it's going to change the color for every single tree that's not good um maybe you want it but in my case it's not good so that's why we need duplicate um anyways thank you for watching the video please subscribe and like and share and let me know if you face any difficulties and i will do my best to fix them take care bye bye